there's always a good edge. Like a good edge would be, you're supposed to be interviewing me, but then I start asking where you're from and then you all do that. And then it's like, wow, that's kind of, and then you shoot the boom guy and then you shoot the second camera and then you shoot her and everyone's shooting each other. And you know what? That'll end up being much more interesting than anything I could say. Um, you should do that. <laughs> You'll end up using it in your movie. It'll be the intro to your film, don't you think? When I started it, it was really just going to be about the heat wave. I mean, even though I understood the revelatory nature of that heat wave and that it enabled us to see the underlying disaster underlying the disaster. Initially, I was trying to make it like this sort of like this open and shut murder case, and we would just focus on Chicago. And I think that could have been actually very interesting, but once Katrina hit, which was very early on in our process, I, cu I couldn't make the movie like that anymore. It just one thing led to another to another, and I realized that the same process that we were experiencing as a team making the movie, which is this sort of like one thing leads to another, and it's like this onion peel, and you pull it out, and you pull it out, and all the maps, one is on top of another, on top of another, and then you realize that it's actually, there's this underlying map that was even underneath it, and it just gets sinister and sinister and more layered and more layered. Once we started to do that, then I sort of had to be in it because none of our characters was doing that. And then the movie became this other movie. So it's like I'm being like strategically open, strategically naive in a way. People are either very honest, they say things that they don't expect to say, they say things that other people are saying or thinking but they don't even articulate, or they actually self-censor on camera they want to say something and then they stop and then they don't want to say it and kind of that weird place. Those are good things to document. It's great for an audience to see. It gives them the opportunity to think and rethink and realize that they're self-censoring themselves and realize that there's a space for them to be confused and out of confusion could come very good things.